fucking pick up the phone. Uh, didn't mean to yell. Just frustrating when all I have to cling to is the sound of your voice on your outgoing message. Give me a call back when you get this. It's really hard to stay cool when you won't give me a call back. Hey, please call me back. Hey, baby, I'm missing you. Want to hear you talk to me for real. Fairly sure I'm still in love with you. Definitely still in love with you. Fucking pick up the fuck. I think we got it. Let's take a few minutes, shall we? <laughs> Tom's gonna dial in for the supervised session, so just don't say anything you don't want the boss man to hear. Awesome. Yeah, thanks, Frank. I didn't know you did the whole vape thing. <laughs> yeah. I had to quit smoking. Just getting out of control. I don't know what I'd do if I quit. I'm surprised you smoke at all, considering you do this for a living. Probably should quit. <laughs> Never been happier. When are we back in? Five. Cool. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hey, you ever worked with this director before? He asked for you specifically. Did he? Yeah. He was real insistent. Kind of an eccentric. I don't know. Makes good movies, I think. It's weird when your lead breaks contract, doesn't come back for post. Some method of bullshit. I don't know. Maybe he pushes his actors too far. Method on a horror film entails some weird shit, I guess. I don't know. It's just what I've heard anyway. Hey, I can hear that in here. You need to get it? Uh, Frank, do you have any bottles of water? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not at the studio. Um, I can offer you New York's finest straight from the sink. I'll, uh, I think I'll go downstairs to the vending machines. Lines open. In case, uh, Tom calls, tell him I say hi. It's fine, it's fine. It's really noisy where I am, can you? What's that? Can you hear me? Sorry. How about now? Let me cross the street, hang on. How about now? How about, How about now? call me back. I'm gonna admit that the other night, like a true creep, I put on one of your old voice demo reels and just let it play over and over again in my apartment while I was trying to fall asleep. I wanted to hear you out loud, even if it was just you reading old copy from AutoZone and Fancy Feast ads. You sound ridiculous when you try to do your sassy, upbeat, professional take on a line. Now I only get to hear you when everybody else in the world does on some stupid commercial. 
I'm filled with regrets and romanticizing all of it. I'm trying to remember you and forget you all at the same time, but I can't remember the sound of your voice. And I wish I could hang on to that. Don't call me back unless you're walking to my apartment ready to knock on my door. Feels as if I've lost you. Tom, is that you? Oh, there he is. No, Frank. Was worried I was in the wrong room. Tom's on mute, but he's he's gonna be listening in. We're on scene 37. You've just escaped and you're running through the forest. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, I wanna do some push-ups or jumping jacks or I don't know, um, just something to get yourself out of breath for these scenes. I'll, I'll put on the reference. Thank you. 